You're not going anywhere. Where's your nest? What? Your nest? Where you and your blood-sucking pals hang out. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. I don't feel good. Yeah, well, you're gonna feel a hell of a lot worse when you give you another shot of dead man's blood. Just let me go. Yeah, you know we can't do that. I'm telling you the truth. I just... I took something. I'm freaking out. I don't know what's going on. You took something? Yes! I can't come down. I just want to come down. What's your name? Lucy. Please, just let me go. All right, Lucy, how about this? If you tell us what happened, we'll let you go. You will? Uh... I don't really, um, it's not that clear. Uh, I was at Spider. Spider? The club on Jefferson. And there was this guy, he was buying me drinks. This guy? What's he look like? Uh, he was old, like 30. He had brown hair, a leather jacket, uh, Deacon or, or Dixon or something. They said he was a dealer, he had something for me. Something. Something new. Better than anything you ever tried. You put a few drops in my drink. Was the drug red and thick? Oh, genius move there. That was vampire blood he dosed you with. What? Yeah, you just took a big steam and shot at the nastiest virus out there. You're crazy. He gave me roofies or something. No. The next thing I know, we're at his place and he says he's gonna get me something to eat. Just wait. But I get so hungry. So you bust it out. But it won't wear off. Whatever he gave me. Lights too bright? Sunshine hurt your skin? Yeah. And smells. And I can hear blood pumping. No, I hate to tell you this, sweetheart. But your blood's never pumping again. Not mine. Yours. I can hear a heart beating from half a block away. I just want it to stop. All right, listen, Wavy Gravy. It's not going to stop. You want to kill two people, almost three. No, I couldn't. No, I was hallucinating. You killed me. All right, we've been following a sloppy trail of corpses. It leads straight to you. No. No, it wasn't real. It was the drug. Please. Please, you have to help me! questions about the attack? Why are you talking to the cops? Well, we're not cops. We're FBI. FBI? Can you describe your attacker? Um, she was crazy. She had that uh, super PCP strength, you know? She gnawed it on my neck. And did she bleed on me? On me, no. In your mouth, open wound, anything. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. What do you ask? This woman has a very dangerous virus. What? She bit me in the neck. The bite doesn't matter. You have to actually ingest the blood to be infected. Oh. 
Good thing too. We didn't have to kill him. The attack. She jumped me and bit me. Then those two guys found me and uh, chased me down the alley. What they look like? I didn't get a good look. I think. One of them was real tall. Stop the slice. Nice move you pulled back there, Dean, running right at the weapons. Well, what can I say? I'm a badass. So I guess Gordon's out of jail. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You know, how the hell did you know to find us? That bitch. Hi, Bella. Hello, Dean. Question for you. You called me yesterday. It wasn't to thank me for saving your ass, was it? No. Good Walker paid me to tell him where you were. Excuse me? Well, he had a gun on me. What else was I supposed to do? I don't know, maybe pick up the phone and tell us that a raging psychopath was dropping by? Oh, I did fully intend to call. I just got a bit tired. He tried to kill us. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. After all, there are two of you and one of him. There were two of them. Oh. Bella, we make it out of this alive. The first thing I'm going to do is kill you. You're not serious. Listen to my voice and tell me if I'm serious. off the street and made them monsters like you. I do what I have to. We're a dying breed. But then, you know that, don't you, Gordon? 
Gordon Walker, one of the greatest living vampire hunters in the flesh. You're a big part of why my people are nearly extinct, Gordon. <laughs> Your people are going extinct because you're a bunch of mindless, bloodthirsty animals. We're so much more bloodthirsty than you. Hunters slaughtered my entire nest like they were having a party. Murdered my dog. I can't tell you how satisfying this is. Catching a hunter responsible for so many deaths and making you lunch for my new daughters. Daughters? Try saying whores. Watch your mouth. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. I forgot you're just a misunderstood victim. Even though you murder and spread your filthy disease on pure base instinct, you got less humanity than a sewer man. I'm sorry you have such a low opinion of my people. Oh, you have no idea. Sorry. Change your plans. I'll be going out to get you lunch. Got a better idea for you. No. 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 that when we find him, or if he finds us. Yeah. I'm just saying he's not leaving us a whole lot of options. Yeah, I know. You gotta kill him. Really? Just like that? I thought you would've been like, no, we can't. He's human. It's wrong. Now I'm done. I mean, Gord's not gonna stop until we're dead. Or until he is. What? Leave a whole process against me. And more to the point, I'd rather you kill me. So I went ahead and found Gordon's exact location for you. You're 100 miles away. How the hell? Hello.